it's hard to find anyone who has not yet suffered the horrible experience of food poisoning. And by horrible, I don't just mean diarrhea, but some serious cases of foodborne illnesses that can even take your life. Among such serious foodborne infections, listeria infection is considered to be one of the deadliest form of infections. But don't worry guys, we are here on the rescue. I'm Srizana from SoundHealthSolution.com and I'm here to tell you everything you need to know and everything you can do to protect yourself from this fatal disease. But before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Listeria infection, also known as listeriosis, is a serious foodborne infection. Center for Disease Control and Prevention reports an estimated 260 Americans die of listeriosis every year. Hence, it's vital to know all the facts about this life-threatening disease. Listeriosis ranks third in a total number of deaths among foodborne pathogens. It can happen anywhere, anytime if you consume contaminated food. And by contaminated, I mean food that contains the causative agent Listeria monocytogenes. So what is Listeria monocytogenes? Listeria monocytogenes is the causative agent of Listeriosis, a pathogenic bacterium which is facultatively anaerobic, which means it can survive both in the presence and absence of oxygen. It grows and reproduces inside the host cell and has been considered one of the most virulent foodborne pathogens. The bacteria is present in the environment, particularly in the soil containing decaying vegetation or water, also in the feces of mammals including healthy human adults. The bacteria is commonly found in contaminated food like raw vegetables, melons, deli meats, unpasteurized dairy products like soft cheese. Now that you all know listeriosis is caused by a pathogenic bacteria, let's move on to find out the symptoms of the disease. Symptoms of Listeriosis Although the disease is fatal and can take lives, the symptoms, however, can go unnoticed. For many people, the symptoms might be mild. So, diagnosis is not possible during such cases. The incubation period of this disease is one to three days post the consumption of contaminated food. At first, you might get a flu-like sickness with fever and diarrhea, but the effects of infection can even reach to severe form affecting the heart, the nervous system, and even the circulatory system. The most common symptoms of listeriosis include nausea, fever, diarrhea, and muscle aches. If the bacteria reaches the nervous system, then it might trigger some serious complications like headache, stiff neck, loss of balance, conversion, and Seizures. The bacteria can also infect the bloodstream, leading to septicemia and even cause meningitis. Once the infection spreads to the brain, it can cause several fatal diseases like encephalitis, meningoencephalitis, cerebral abscess, and cranial nerve palsies. Pregnant women are 10 times more likely to be infected by the disease. Others who are susceptible include elderly people and immunosuppressed people. The infection is caused by Listeria bacterium, which is highly resistant to freezing temperatures. But these bacteria get destroyed easily by high heat. Hence, it's advised to eat frozen food only after it has been heated to a proper temperature. Who are at risk of listeriosis? Listeriosis affects people of all age groups, but it's mostly hazardous to the people who are above 65 years, immunosuppressed, pregnant, 
and are on medication to prevent organ transplant rejection. Also, those who have been infected with HIV, diagnosed with diabetes, undergoing treatment of chemotherapy, taking dialysis, or have liver diseases are also at the risk of this deadly infection. During pregnancy, the infected mother can also transmit the bacteria into the growing fetus via umbilical cord into the baby's bloodstream, infecting the baby as well. Preliminary diagnosis is usually based on the patient's clinical history and physical exam, especially after the patient gives a history of likely exposure to a contaminated food source. The disease is diagnosed by a blood test. Urine or spinal fluid test might also be conducted to detect the presence of Listeria bacterium. Doctors and experts state that Listeriosis is usually a self-limited disease. It might get cured without the need of medical care. But for those who have been suffering from severe symptoms, antibiotic treatment is required. The antibiotic ampicillin is considered as the best drug for the treatment of the infection. In addition, for the patients who have the invasive infection, treatment needs to be more quick like giving intravenous antibiotic and up to six weeks of hospitalization and proper treatment. The disease is not contagious, which means the bacterium doesn't get transmitted from person to person, as its source of transmission is usually fecal or root. The only exception is for pregnant mothers, who can transmit the bacteria to the fetus from either breast milk or through the umbilical cord. Are there any home remedies for listeriosis? Unfortunately, there's no home-based treatment for listeriosis. Therefore, it's always best to prefer medical treatment as soon as you have been diagnosed with the infection. Despite this, there can be certain home remedies to soothe the symptoms like taking inactivated charcoal, garlic, apicac syrup, and alcohol-free golden seal to treat food poisoning. How to prevent listeriosis? Good hygiene, sanitation, and consuming properly cooked food will certainly prevent the fatal infection. CDC has recommended some of the safety measures and I'm going to mention some of them now. Number one, always avoid raw fruits and vegetables Wash them properly with filtered water, if possible, before eating. Number 2. Cook raw meat like pork, beef, poultry and other sources of animal meat thoroughly. High heat kills the Listeria bacterium. Number 3. On pasteurized milk, cheese and other dairy products should be avoided. Number 4. Avoid old canned and ready to eat food. Number 5. Don't consume hot dogs, deli meat, unless they have been heated properly to steaming hot. Number 6. Stop eating foods in meat spreads and pates. Number 7. Always use cheese and milk that have labels of pasteurization. Number 8. After cutting meat and other uncooked food, wash hands, knives and cutting boards properly with hot water or detergent. If you found this video informative, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comment section. Until next time, stay healthy.